hi loves welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel thank you for stopping by um i hope you subscribe so you can get notified for my videos when i post them and thanks to everyone who has been supporting i really appreciate your your comments your likes thank you so much um so as requested um this is a vlog of my daughter's birthday how i how we celebrated her birthday and how we got the perfect family pictures because i've got some questions of people asking me how do i get my toddlers to smile in the pictures how do i get everybody looking at the camera how do i get everybody smiling at the same time so <laughs> we've actually been able to figure out a few tricks that have helped us and um, i'm here to share them with you today i hope you enjoy watching this video i'll do a little bit of the talking after which the video from her birthday and everything we did would play so um first off um the few um few days or maybe a day before the um the photo shoot or the birthday we talk about what we are going to have like my husband he's usually the one that would ask the kids what are we going to do they would say we are going to take a picture he would repeat them then he would get them to say it afterwards um he we would do this like the day before or maybe a few days before then if we have any posts we plan to try we start practicing it like we take pictures with our phone we try to get them to maybe get um, zara and chidu to take to practice a certain pose then um on the day of the like a day before the photo shoot we try to send them to bed we try to make sure they get the much needed rest and um we if, if they are required to take a nap before the photo shoot because we usually have our photo shoot after work like around 3 30 4 p.m so we make sure they get a nap so they will be like in their best mood then we also make sure they are well fed this is not a time to start experimenting with food because we want them to be well fed and and feeling happy then um when we are packing for things that we need to do if we are having like a change of outfit i pack the outfit i make sure they are paired then um after which um i make sure i have their favorite toy then I make sure our phones are fully charged because most times we use the phone and it's been so helpful. Then um, um, we, when we get there, um, before then we try to figure out what their favorite song is, what their favorite show is, because some of these things have been what has been helping us so far whenever we take pictures. So um, my husband and I would get to remember, this is their favorite song, this is what they enjoy watching and this usually works when the photographer wants to get a picture of them facing her or maybe looking where everyone is looking in the same direction so we give her the phone we give the photographer the phone or we try to place it somewhere where everyone looks at it at the same time so you know when they are playing a show both of them likes or that gets them to giggle um they, they would laugh at the same time also <laughs> so would have to be fast enough to laugh the same time the laugh or smile at the same time or we have to be smiling always so that when they smile the smile <laughs> plays along or something so um we we use that to get them smiling and looking at the camera and also we try to tickle them like um some of the candid poses um we did like the candid photos we took um we were tickling them and they were laughing and usually i advise for people to do candid um, photos when you have little kids kids that are below five that way you don't have to be under the pressure of getting everyone to look at the camera at the same time you can just um do your thing and this one maybe i'm looking at my husband or the kids are smiling at each other or i'm tickling my little boy my kids have an instagram page where i post their pictures not it's not like something is actually happening there it's just i post their pictures i allow them so most times when i post the pictures i allow them to see the post so when they are watching it most times and this this posts this reels i make them with um like the, their favorite maybe abcd all those songs all those nursery rhymes i make it with their favorite songs so when they are watching this um videos of themselves they tend to remember the song so they feel like they are superstars or they feel they're already in the show like there's one um, the one that I made as I was walking down the street. Um, each time we are walking down our road, 
where I took a video of her and posted it on her Instagram, she always points at that and sing the song. So it kind of puts her in that, puts her in that memory all the time whenever she watches the video. So those videos are also the kind of things that get them in the right mood, that gets them smiling. We take breaks in between during the photo shoots. We make sure when they are hungry or maybe they need a bathroom break, we take them. Um, luckily, our photographer has been the best and the sweetest human since I met her three years ago. Then for the the second part is why I decorate. So I've, I started decorating after COVID happened and people couldn't attend my son's birthday and I wanted to celebrate his birthday. You know, the first birthday, the kids are not really aware of what's happening. But for his second birthday, he was very much aware and I wanted to celebrate and we weren't um, really going to invite family over because of how things were. So I bought a few things from Amazon. Then I I used some of the things that, that were some of the leftovers from Zara's baby shower. And um, because I decorate, we decorated in my house, so I had some of the leftovers. So I used those things to decorate the table. And on the day he came out and saw the picture and he was singing the happy birthday song. He came out and saw the, the, the decoration and he was singing the happy birthday song and he was so excited. So that has been the thing making me to decorate every year. And you know, when you tell a child it's your birthday, they don't, most times they don't really understand it until they see like the event. So the decoration kind of, I decorate my dining table. And um, I try to like put the plates like we're having a regular party. Like people are coming with the spoons and the cups and everything, the paper cups and the paper plates. So they come out and they see the table already decorated and looking all nice. And they are happy. So I did the same this year for Zara. And when she came out, she was surprised because all this time she's been watching her the videos from her brother's um, birthday. She also watched it during the first birthday. So she would... I would always play the song for them. They can watch it all day. They can watch it for minutes. They are ne never tired. So um, she she came out and saw the, the decoration and she was happy. And I tried to use a few things in the house, like the starlights they use in sleeping at night. I used that to also like add some effects to the dining, the dining room and a few other things. And most of these things, I buy them from Amazon and they are quite affordable. So... I don't buy things every single year. Most times I try to reuse what I have. I can use the same thing for Zara. And if there are some gender neutral colors, I use the same for Chidu as his birthday is coming up. Then maybe if I need to do a team birthday decoration, then I order some things from the store from Amazon. While my husband picks up the helium balloons from Party City or any other, or any other store that sells things like that. So that's basically it for the decoration and how we get the pictures. Um, I hope you enjoy watching. I just want you to remember that most times is the memory that counts. The kid would always remember how much they are loved and how much they are celebrated, especially when they see these pictures or when they, when they watch these videos. And also sometimes you have to create your own sunshine. You don't have to wait people to you don't have to wait for a lot of people to have a party you can have your party within your home you can have your party with your kids and that's perfectly fine so um this is me creating my own sunshine this is me having fun with my family i hope you enjoy watching today's video um please don't forget to like comment and leave any questions you might have i'll be glad to answer them i've been reading your comments and i enjoy um replying to them um until next time bye Mama spin, mama spin, spin, spin round oh, round. That round, I know. Good job. <laughs> no. Mama spin. Good job. Is she in ballet? Yeah. Not yet. We are do thinking. Do it again. Do it again. One more. Spin, turn around. Ooh. Yay! So mama, cute. Dance, dance. Do you like this. Aww. Let's do this together. Aww. Ooh.
if you're happy and you know it's stomp your feet yay no, no, if you're happy and you know it and your face my shoulder is sharp if you're happy and you know we turn around yes cheese no stomp your feet <laughs> okay mama take over one time she's in a perfect position i just need a big smile from her Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zara. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? Mama, how old are you? Yes, you're three. Years. Yeah, three. Years. Mama, you're two years old today. Mama, how old are you? No, you're two. Okay. <laughs> Mama, how old are you? Show me two. Two years old. Mama, how old are you? Three years old. Two years old. <laughs> 